Door's still locked. Do you think he's dead? No. Now would be the worst. <laughs> What's going on guys? The Outcast Engineer is finally here a mere two days after being uh, publicly shown and announced and I figured I'd just go over what he's all about and kind of examine some of the talents that I've been using uh, playing him. So let's start with his passive ability. Build Pressure. Holding reload with a steam assisted crank gun equipped builds pressure. Each stack of pressure lasts for 12 seconds and gradually restores the ability bar. Stacks up to five times. So you crank uh, your minigun and it fills up what is traditionally your cooldown bar. Um, his career skill, steam assisted crank gun. Unleash, unleash the fearsome firepower of Barden's custom creation. Shots reduce the ability bar. Any accumulated pressure is lost upon firing. So, you know, it goes up when you crank in, it goes down when you shoot. Pretty simple. He's also got gunsmith. 50% more max ammo. Spotter increases range power of nearby allies by 10%. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And then utility belt. Barden can carry up to three bombs of any type at one time. Pressing the bomb, keybind cycles between them. Pretty cool. So he's got some interesting stuff. He's a, a pretty unique character, I think. So for um, for him, he's got his you know the kind of made for him weapon is the the cog hammer, which is like a hammer and an axe kind of thing. So for that, you're gonna want staggering for THP. Um, for large horde sizes, this is absolutely the best uh, talent. Staggering gives you temp health when you hit any kind of enemy, obviously, and stagger them um, and don't kill them. So it might not work so great for like little tiny uh, Skaven clan rats, but anything else. Um, which you will be able to stagger in this game, you will make tons of temp health. That's really good. He's also got damaging for temp health, also not bad, but maybe not the best choice for the cog hammer. Patch the good stuff, that's just heal share. Uh, not a huge fan of it. I mean, you heal zealots when they don't want to be healed. You don't make temp health, so if you get hit a lot, you just you will die quicker and more frequently. So it's, it's better, I think, just to be able to make temp health if you need it down here leading shots is what i've been using every four ranged attack i guess that's supposed to be fourth ranged attack is a guaranteed critical hit so i've kind of tested this when firing the minigun they're kind of all other crits are removed so every four you get a, a guaranteed critical uh hit which is really good for the minigun since it fires tons and tons and tons and tons of bullets it also works on his pistol um so if you want to take do the scrounger thing and never run out, um, you can do that with this. Pretty good. Armor piercing slugs, ranged attacks pierce one additional enemy. Um, not too shabby, you know, if you're um, going for like you know, really high difficulty and the hordes are just huge and you know, you want to pierce more things, hey, maybe that's something for you. Absolutely. Scavenged shot, melee power is increased by 10% every five melee kill. Every five melee kills makes Barton's next range attack consume no ammo. So this is obviously for the engineer that wants to melee uh, more frequently, maybe than using his uh, range weapons. So you get a little bit more power, and every five kills, no ammo is consumed on the next attack. So pretty cool. Down here, not my favorite set of uh, talents. You've got mainstay, which 
personally, I don't think is all that good when it comes to melee, especially since things generally tend to die before the third hit, which is where you get your bonus damage from. Um, this also doesn't do bonus damage to monsters, really, unless they're really staggered. Um, and the Bulwark's kind of also not that good. It's probably the one talent that's worse than uh, Mainstay. It's, this, is real, this is for shields, you know, when Barden can use shields, obviously. Um, if you're going to use the Action Shield or the Hammer and Shield, you would want to take Bulwark. Probably. Um, but even then, probably not. Because Enhanced Power is here, and Enhanced Power is very good. Um, it increases your total power level by 7.5%. I know it says 7. That is incorrect. Um, they all say 7, but it's really 7.5%, um, which affects uh, your melee damage and your range damage, which is important for this guy because he's going to be doing a lot of range damage. You're going to get more, um, you know, more power obviously will lead to more range damage, um, probably less melee damage than, say, like Mainstay. Um, but you know, you're mostly going to be ranging on this guy all the time, so I think enhanced power is definitely the way to go. This wall should let you hit um, certain breakpoints. Um, if you you know if you, you know how to use the breakpoint calculator, it's out there. You can Google it. Um, enhanced power does help with that for some breakpoints. Down here, he's got full head of steam. Upon reaching five stacks of pressure, Barden gains 15% power for 10 seconds. And when I first read this one, it kind of caught my eye. I was like, hey. That's pretty cool you get more power you know you get your five stacks but after trying it out i felt it was a bit exhausting or at least annoying to have to constantly crank it um to build back your your your, your ultimate right uh yeah the, the power is nice certainly 10 seconds is pretty long for that kind of a thing um i just didn't want to have to have, you know deal with it all the time so it's not bad but to me i found this one to be annoying over here you have experimental steam capacitors. Pressure stacks are no longer removed upon reaching full charge or firing the steam assisted crank gun. That just means that they run out after 12 seconds. Unless you keep uh, stacking them up. Over here you have superior gaskets. Pressure is not lost over time. Each stack of pressure grants 2.5% attack speed. Max stacks reduced by 1. So you only have 4 stacks but you crank it four times and say that bar is empty. That'll fill up all the way until it's full. Those stacks will stay there until it's completely full. Then it'll go away. But during that time, you'll have 10% more attack speed, which is pretty nice. Um, this is the one I've been using. I like this one a lot. It's a set it and forget it kind of kind of deal. You know, if you run out, you just crank it. You do your thing. If you start shooting, it'll also go away, by the way. Um, yeah, no, this one's pretty good. You can just like switch to your melee, switch to your pistol, do something else for a couple seconds, back to the minigun, crank it again. Time to melee. Perfect. Love this talent. Down here, oblative armor, I believe. Is that how it's pronounced? Maybe? Not sure. Every five seconds, Barnum gains a stack of damage reduction. Stacks up to five times. Each stack reduces damage taken by 5%. Taking damage removes a stack. So much like Huntsman's new kind of damage reduction talent, um, he just gets it, you know, just for existing and being the dwarf that he is. Um, 25% uh, damage reduction, not too shabby. Um, you take damage, you lose 5%, um, but you get it back after 5 seconds. So, I mean, this is not a bad talent at all. Um, I did use it a little bit, found it to be, you know, pretty okay. Um, he's got pretty low health. Now, naturally, I think it's 100 base health. Um, which is not very much, so I don't know how much this is really going to help him out in that kind of a situation, but, you know, if you want to combine it with bark skins, probably not too bad. Bombardier. Barden's bombs gain the effect of both regular bombs and incendiary bombs. This is a pretty cool talent, I think. Um, you know, if you're going to, if, if you're someone that really likes to bomb, I would definitely take this talent because having both of those at your disposal and having three bombs could be totally awesome plus you could take the the little trait that like um lets you not consume a bomb potentially if you if you use one i mean that's awesome that could be so cool but i've been using piston power every 15 seconds barton gains a buff that grants immense stagger to his next charge attack and when we're talking immense stagger i mean i've using it myself i've been able to stagger like literally knock flat on its back like foot knight can a chaos warrior um, I didn't get to try it out myself, but someone that I, you know, play with, 
people I know have told me that it can stagger monsters. So, I mean, this is potentially a really powerful um, talent, something maybe potentially to use on, like, Death Wish, Onslaught, something like that. Piston Power. This will definitely save you from taking damage many times, and it's every 15 seconds. That's freaking sweet. Piston Power is awesome, and I love it a lot. Down here you have Gromroll Plated Shot. Reduces the steam assisted crank gun rate of fire, but increases damage and armor penetration. I, personally, I find this one to be too slow um, for the damage output. I don't feel like the damage output is that much, even if it has armor penetration. It's just really slow. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Sorry. You also have Innovative Ammo Hoppers. Increases Barden's ability bar by 50%. Killing a special makes the steam assisted crank gun not consume the ability bar for the next four seconds. So again, this is this one would go pretty good with superior gaskets um, because you can just fill it up all the way. The bar is 50% longer, so it takes longer to fill up, but you can shoot longer. Killing a special will give you four seconds of like that time not to be consumed. I mean, you can just constantly minigun, um, which could be cool. Um, but it might, you know, it's, it's a bit situational for that to happen, but I mean, definitely can be done. Not a bad talent at all. I've been using Linked Compression Changer. Ugh, changer. Linked Compression Chamber. The steam assisted crank gun starts firing at full speed rather than taking time to ramp up. So this is just, you know, instantly go. You know what you're going to get from point blank. You don't have to wait. Um, I like it. It's simple. It's easy. But I mean, either this one or this one, both pretty good. You could use them both, honestly. For my equipment, I mean, you have to use it. You have to use the new weapons, right? The Cog Hammer. I go Crit Chance, Power vs. Skaven, Swift Slaying. You can definitely do like Power vs. Chaos, Power vs. Armor if you want. Um, I guess you can even do Infantry, honestly. But I just have Skaven on here um, for Black Rats and stuff. It's, I probably should have Chaos on here, but re-rolling sometimes takes a long, long time, and I just settled for Skaven and Crit Chance. I would definitely keep Crit Chance on there, though. Um, that's really nice. You want to proc that Swift Slaying. Super fast attack speed for when you want to pull this thing out. Because it's not that fast naturally, so having that attack speed is really nice. The the masterwork pistol might be the most overlooked weapon of this whole kind of new thing going on. I know everybody talks about the minigun, the minigun's great, but this pistol can do some freaking damage, man. I got power of arm, power of scaven, that's for specials, that's for elites. Scrounger, because I'm taking the leading shots talent to get my ammo back every fourth shot. I mean, this thing can really do some work. This is a great, great weapon. Necklace, I've got health, block cost reduction, natural bond. He's got pretty low health. So, you know, bark skin, if you combine it with the damage reduction, you might get some use out of it. I think you're much better off using natural bond or boon of shalia, depending on how much you're going to melee. Um, you know, if you're going to range a lot, you're not going to make that much temp health. So natural bond is super helpful for that. The charm... Power vs. Armor, Power vs. Skaven, Decanter, again, you probably you don't have to do this. You can do Armor and Chaos, you can do Armor and Infantry. There's, there's a number of different things you can do, but I would definitely recommend Decanter. Decanter is really cool. Um, if you get a purple drink it, it'll fill that ability bar up so you can just keep firing and firing and firing. That's awesome. Strength potions last longer, you'll do more damage. Speed, just, speed probably just lets you fire faster, I would think, um, and crank faster. The Trinket, I have Curse Resistance, Crit Chance, and Trapnel. The Crit Chance would really only just be for the Cog Hammer, so that's a personal choice. Maybe you want to use, like, Movement Speed or, I don't know, like, Stamina Recovery or something. You can do that. You don't have to use Crit Chance because it only affects the melee um, weapon. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing with uh, Outcast Engineer. been having a lot of fun with him, and I very much enjoy his Crank Gun. Let me know what you guys think about this class, um, if you enjoy this build, if you like it, if you think it's worth using, let me know. Don't forget, I got a Discord link in the description down below. Also, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications, so you get to see my videos when I put them up. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.